In 2024, there is one thing conspicuously missing from the sales pitch for the OnePlus 12 AI. And you know what? That's fine. Great. Even depending on what you want out of your phone. OnePlus flagship phone appears to be sitting out on the mobile tech trend of the year, which is even more obvious on the heels of Samsung's unpacked AI Palooza. The OnePlus 12 isn't chasing the latest cutting-edge thing, it is going back to the basics. And I think it gets them right, at least a lot closer to right than OnePlus has in the last three years. You know what's not a hot buzz phrase in mobile tech right now? Battery life. You know what matters a whole lot to people buying a phone? Battery life. OnePlus put in some work here and it shows battery performance is among the best of any major flagship phone I have tested in the past 6 months. Wireless charging, a prerequisite for a flagship phone in 2024, is back after an absence on the OnePlus 11. OnePlus even kicked the IP rating up a notch from IP64 to IP65 which gives me lost a little more confidence in its long-term durability. These improvements have come at a cost an extra 100 bucks or 799 US dollar versus 699 US dollar for the OnePlus 11. But that's still on the low side for a high-end phone in 2024, especially one with a huge 6.8 inch display. It all makes the OnePlus 12 a more compelling package than its predecessor. It's a phone worthy of a Pro or Plus title that costs a few hundred bucks less. None of these features are the kinds of new, groundbreaking tech you will see in Samsung or Google Ads for their new phones. But at this stage, AI on the mobile devices hasn't exactly proven itself to be indispensable. Sure, a Galaxy or Pixel phone holds some additional appeal beyond AI if you are entrenched in their ecosystem or if you are hooked on a Galaxy Watch or the Pixel Recorder app. It's also possible that those flashy new AI features will come with an extra cost somewhere down the line. If you are not already devoted to another Android ecosystem, you want to sit out this hype cycle or you just want a phone that does phone things well, then the OnePlus 12 might just be the one. The OnePlus 12 comes with a brand new 50 megapixel main camera powered by one of Sony's new camera sensors, the Light 808, of the same sensor family as the Light T808 that powered the OnePlus Open's main camera and delivered lovely image quality and overall camera performance. Both these sensors are Sony's latest. However, the OnePlus 12's Light 808 sensor is not stacked. So, technically, the OnePlus Open remains the better equipped OnePlus phone. The main camera of the OnePlus 12 is also a bit wider at 23mm and comes with a faster f1.6 aperture too, which suggests very good low light camera performance. Aside from hardware improvements, OnePlus has also thrown in a number of software and image processing improvements. A brand new HDR algorithm promises much better image processing when shooting in scenes with extreme lighting. OnePlus says its HDR processing is AI powered, so the phone understands what it sees and applies just the necessary edits to achieve a more natural look. OnePlus has also slightly boosted the megapixel count of the ultra-wide camera from 48 to 50 megapixel, but this doesn't deliver any major improvements in terms of image quality. The OnePlus 12's ultra-wide angle camera is slightly narrower than the OnePlus 11's 114 versus 115 degrees, so you can fit marginally less in the frame on the newer phone. Autofocusing works from just 3.5 cm or an inch and a half so macro shots could be taken from up close. Finally, and most importantly, a telephoto camera with 3x optical zoom is finally coming back on OnePlus flagships. After debuting on the OnePlus 7 Pro years ago, the telephoto camera fell out of favor resulting in a OnePlus 11 with a measly 2x telephoto, while not as impressive as the 5x periscope on most flagship phones these days like the iPhone 15 Pro Max, Galaxy S24 Ultra, and Pixel 8 Pro. Here are some camera samples and camera comparison, so check them out.
there you have it the oneplus 12 is a phone that delivers on mostly all the important fronts very capable camera superb performance and exceptional battery life as well as charging speeds are the recurring theme with this no-nonsense flagship that caters not only to the core oneplus fanbase but also to just about anyone willing to upgrade or even switch to a rather competitive android phone in early 2024 it's not all great though, while 4 years of major OS upgrades is pretty good, the competition is quickly upping the ante, offering up to 7 years of both major OS upgrades and security patches, leaving the OnePlus 12 behind. On another note, while great, OnePlus plays things pretty safe and somewhat reluctant to experiment. Sure, the OnePlus 12 is one beautiful device, but it is as formulaic as they come. At least some variety in terms of the colors could have been nice, as you get this phone in two colors only and of those isn't even available for the 12GB or 256GB starter version. What is more, it would have been nice to see OnePlus answer to the iPhones, Galaxies and Pixels with a longer telephoto that matches the 5x zoom they deliver. Don't get us wrong, the telephoto on the OnePlus 12 is very decent but matching the competition would have been extra neat. Thanks for watching, see you in the next one.